Hello and welcome to another Guardians of Witcher video. I'm your host Dewey and this is another tutorial. Um, I thought about including this in the hobby vlogs, however I think it's going to be quite a long process, or, or not not as long as the ruins, but um, an interesting one for you all to see. Um, so I'm going to be making some Easterling tents, um, or some like Far East tents. Um, this is taken straight out of the uh, Shadow in the East book. Um, and so are these templates. You will have seen me explain this a bit in the hobby blogs previously, um, but I'm going to make this all the in-depth and keep the warriors themselves for the hobby blogs. Um, so I've cut out a hundred millimeter, seventy millimeter, and a thirty millimeter circle. If you can see that one, because of the edge. Um, and I'm starting to draw them onto this twenty-five mil uh, extruded polystyrene. Um, and it looks quite bubbly, yeah, it's it's the nasty stuff. However, this will be covered in um, kind of a pepe mache kind of tissue paper soaked in PVA, that kind of really crinkled effect. Um, so I'm starting by just drawing concentric circles. Um, I think I'm going to have eight tents um, to start with and then one bigger tent. Um, so that's the plan for the moment. So I'm just going to draw all of these up, and then once they're all drawn up, I'm going to glue uh, the two pieces of 25mm polystyrene together um, to give it a nice shape, and then eventually cut them all up. But I'll just draw them all for us and stick them, and we'll come back when I've started to cut them up. So just to finish off my concentric circles, I um, took the printout that I made um, of the... Uh, 10, 70 and 30 millimeter um, circles and blew them up by 125% um, so now I have a 12 and a half diameter centimeter um, outer ring and then it's something like an 87 or an 8.75 centimeter middle ring and a 3.75 inner ring so this will be for like the uh, the general's hut um, just to give some variance um, so the next thing is to uh, glue these two pieces together and then cut them all out but I will leave them to glue overnight well at least like 24 hours because there's going to be quite a bit of glue in the middle um, or I may even cut them out and then glue them together I'm not entirely sure at the moment but I've got to try and find a way of pinning them so they don't move so I think gluing them together now is the best option and then we go from there so I've applied a very liberal coat of PVA glue into the middle and then used our favourite books a big big rule book in the War of the Ring book which gives me loads of ideas for paint schemes and army lists and themed themed activities but obviously they're solid thick hardback books so I put these on top just to weigh them down so that the, the uh, join between the two will be nice and firm um, and I'm going to let this set like I said um, for the next day or so um, just so that all the PV gl PVA glue is perfectly solid um, and then when I come to cut out the um, circles themselves they won't have any risk of falling apart um, so that's all I'm going to do for now and you'll see an update in a day or two so you join me back and this is what the tents look like currently um, they are simply blocks that I've cut out and it's not a day later um, it's about six hours later um, and I thought I'd cut them out just to see how they are but I'm going to leave them to the shaving till tomorrow um, I think tomorrow or Thursday because I've got a day off Thursday and can really go and <clears throat> um, really shape them and make them all how they are needed um, so that's currently how they are um, and I will show you once they've all been shaved and put into place so I'll bring you in at all this mess um, this is how they've turned out after I've um, been at them with the hot wire phone cutter so 
they look like this now if I put that down you can see on those as well they're kind of angled so what I did first was cut them all so they were um, perpendicular so straight lines up here and then angled the bottom towards the um, towards this concentric circle and now I'm currently just drawing rings around them at 35 mil from the base um, and I've got another one done here um, I've got one more to do over there the one I showed you just a minute ago and then I'm going to hot wire foam them and cut them to that so that is the basic shape of them if I get it because it's white is really hard to pick out if you can see and I don't mind that they're rough that they're rough cut and that they look a little bit off because I'm going to be putting tissue paper all over them um, or kind, kind of like a papier mache kind of tissue paper type thing um, but I need to get all eight to like this first and then I can start applying matchsticks so you join me a bit later on it's a bit bright as it's the middle of the day and I have made this template to go up with all the huts and this is to tell me where to put the matchstick um, tent support structure in a pole whatever you want to call it I just put something in bin so what I'm doing is simply lining the hole up in the middle where the little black dot is pressing down the edge and making a little mark and as you can see there's some there should be eight little marks on each of them I've got to do the big one yet and this last one and then it's a case of um, sticking the matchsticks to the sides but at this point I think I'm going to make the bases um, so very simply get some MDF some 3mm MDF put each one on and label the bottom of them so like write just a number on the bottom and draw around them so they're um, kind of their bases are the correct size and then I'll bevel them and uh, glue these all to the bases before I do the matchsticks that's, that's the plan next um, so it'll be a case of using a jigsaw and just cutting them out, it's it's very simple um, modelling. And I think I've got enough 3mm. Yeah, that should be plenty. Um, so it's a case of just using a jigsaw on a workbench um, and cutting out all the next pieces. So after a quick sawing session, we have all the bases for each of them and they will be numbered and they've all got a little orientation mark um, which lines on to one strand on there so the next thing now is to bevel the edges and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this on these um, I was thinking about getting my drum and running it round that might work um, but we're going to wait a little bit to do that um, as my dad might have a better idea to help me out um, obviously there's the big one for the biggest tent the chieftain tent so that's kind of how they'll line up um, and then obviously beveling the edges and then applying all the detailing to them so that's where I'm at at the moment um, I think these will get done start of next week maybe Monday um, I'm going to try and glue them down and everything a bit later on tonight um, but apart from that I think these will get done Monday um, so I'm just going to work on some other things for the minute so you join me back and I've made a little more progress than I thought um, I've beveled five of the bases and I really like how they are some of them aren't quite flat um, which is an issue of the MDF itself um, which is no issue however we did run into a slight situation I've still got four left to do and that is because my dad's sander broke um, so I will be buying a new one tomorrow um, and getting the rest done but this is a lot quicker than I thought and I think they will be finished um, by the early start of next week and then you might get this video soon or I might delay it a week um, so this is what's going on so far I've got these five um, I'm going to put a book on them now so the PVA underneath gets really solidified and then the next thing on them is to start um, putting the matchstick for the like the tent poles etc um, and then they'll really start to come to life and the um, tissue paper as well that's the word I'm looking for so yeah that's progress at the moment and we'll come back when I've started doing all the matchsticks <laughs>
so as you'll have just seen me um, cut up all of these and these are approximately 35 mil but they're not bang on because I didn't want them to look all like completely uniform and then you see where I've marked them all you saw earlier I've literally just stuck um, stuck them on make sure they're upright um, just simple PVA glue um, so this is the next stage to do to all uh, nine and then I will measure the next bit um, and cut some more matchsticks and put them on as well it's a very simple method and and so far these guys look awesome um, I'm looking forward to putting the tissue paper on and really get, making them come to life and then spray painting them all um, so it's it's not too much more modeling to do um, and then it will just be on to painting uh, as you can see I've skipped a little bit while on and all the matchsticks are on um, oh, cameras moving a little bit. Um, and they provide like the outer support for the tent. Um, you can also see I've cut out doorways on every single one. If I just spin these round, um, so there's doorways on each of them. Um, I think I'm going to put a little bit of card across each kind of section, um, just to make it a little bit flatter. So when the uh, tissue paper goes on, it can look all nice and neat um, and kind of uniform and not have the ridges that the um, hot wire foam cutter formed um, so I think that's what I'll do or I'll polyfill it I'm not in sure or I might just go for the straight to the tissue paper um, but I need a little lip over each doorway anyway um, just obviously give the perception of depth um, so I'm going to put those pieces of card on now and then probably go straight to tissue paper. So now that the cartridge paper has arrived, I have got an A4 sheet, I've got loads of it there, scrunched it all up into a bowl <coughs> several times, and then ripped it obviously into lots of small chunks. And then I have watered down some PVA and really just stuck loads of it around the edges. And I'm sticking around the edges because I'd like a little lip like in the book over the kind of ridge here. Um, and obviously left a little bit for the doorway. And I'm really liking how the crumpled paper and the matchsticks all show up, make it look really, really nice. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go around and do all the bottom half of all of the tents. Obviously let it dry overnight um, because it's, uh, got lots of water down PVA on um, I've coated kind of the polystyrene itself and the matchsticks and then stuck it on and then put some more PVA over the top um, just to kind of try and seal it and make it all look really cool and um, so I'm just going to do this to all of them um, and then do the roof as well so it's a similar process for the roof so you'll see it you'll see them when they're all done so as you can see the uh, the cartridge paper PVA um, application has gone on and I've done it for the roofs as well and just trying to patch down some bits and as you can see it gives a very nice effect and the um, matchsticks underneath give you like the individual supports which you can see so all of them are done um, I think I might as in the book um, make a little uh, front flap kind of thing by basically taking a matchstick and rolling it up in some cartridge paper and gluing it just under here. I like the little lips, kind of the little lip of the, the material. Um, so yeah, roll it under under this bit here to give it some more depth. Um, and then they just need to be sand based and uh, painted, which is awesome. I'm really happy with how they've come out really really good they're re actually finally looking all together just try and just patch that bit down because that's one of the more recent ones I've done um, I'm really happy here with how they've come out I'm looking forward to seeing them on the table and playing some games with them and we finally now have an encampment and after building these I think I'm going to be building um, some gondor houses some haradrim tents some gondor tents um, just so you have two different camps so we can kind of do a storm the camp type scenario as well um so that's that's the plan
Um, so you'll see these all gradually being painted up in the next couple of clips. So now that the uh, all the cartridge paper is dry, I have um, snipped these little pieces of matchstick into 25 millimeter lengths. This one's slightly longer. I just kind of measured it by eye, so it's about 32 and maybe 35. And these I will wrap in cartridge paper and place above the door frames to give um, a, a view of a rolled up um, doorway. So I'll do that now and then show you when they're all stuck on incomplete. So as you can see, the uh, kind of door latches or door materials have been attached to each of them. Um, I'm going to wait for that to dry and then tomorrow I can uh, base them with some sand and maybe put some bit of filler on the roofs just to give a bit more an uneven texture and get rid of the polystyrene um, maybe a bit of filler in the actual um, doorways and then I can spray it all and paint, start painting them which will be awesome so these will be done relatively quickly um, now that this is all finished um, and then I can show you the final finished product so you'll be able to see that I have filled the roof and all of the insides and now I'm just going to go around and put sand on the edges like I have with the large one and this will be the final stage <coughs> before uh, painting it all so yeah this is the fi final little bit of actual building before the paint goes on it'll be simple emulsion paints like I did with the ruins so you join me with the tents <coughs> half painted I would say so what I've done is used the Wilkinson's emulsion paints again I have used um, two so far barely black and java bean and what I've done is the inside of the upper tent is barely black and I quite like that there's still a little bit of white and this kind of discrepancies and then if I spin it round inside the doorway is barely black as well um, and then I've literally painted the rest java bean completely the sand the upper, the lower and the aim <coughs> is to dry brush using woodland fawn um, and I'll show you the colour now I need to just open the pot um, <coughs> so I've literally just completely covered all of them I don't mind that there's bits of white you can see bits of white po poking through I didn't spray these beforehand um, I just wanted to get the paint on it and get it sorted um, I quite like that there's a bit of difference in colour um, the dry brush should bring it all together and I think I might do a little bit of a wash on it afterwards, I'm not sure, make my own kind of brown wash just using the java bean paints. So I'll quickly open this up, show you the colour and then I will come back once I've started dry brushing. So this is the colour I'm going to use, it looks slightly different on camera <coughs> but it's kind of a slightly lighter version of Steel Illusion Drab. Um, and I think it's going to work really well, especially with a dry brush and then, like I say, uh, a paint wash on it. <coughs> um, so that's the aim. So I will show you once they're all dry brushed. So as you can see, I've put two thin coats of the woodland form onto the tents. And I'm going to wash it with a java bean wash, which I've made. Um, these will then pretty much be ready complete for flocking on the bases um, I may do a little dry brushing on the edges um, I'm not entirely sure but these are very very nearly there I'll show you the um, the washed tents afterwards and I think I'm going to leave it at that just because hopefully the wash will get all the detail and so the tents are pretty much finished um, I'm going to leave them how they are I quite like them um, there's a few bits of touching up, like you see that white bit there, that I need to just fill in a little bit of paint with. But apart from that, these are all done and can be flocked in the morning, which would be awesome. Um, so happy to get these done. These have been sat 
around in my room for the last three weeks, four weeks maybe, um, and I'm ready just to get them all done. Um, so I'll show you them once they're flying. So all I've done so far is just dry brush kind of right next to the tent uh, where there's going to be um, less grass and I've tidied up the actual tent supports. Um, so now these are all ready to be flocked um, and I'm going to do these alongside another project but I'll come and show you when they're all done. The final thing I've done as you can see with the little bit of shine is applied a uh, PVA spray over them. Really, really, um, really, really light. Um, just trying to get all the flock to kind of steady and hold itself a bit better. Um, we'll see how this is going. This is the first time I've really done this, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Um, so yeah, this is my tents all finished, and the next uh, few clips will be them in action. Oh, <laughs>